thing. And this is called When I Become a Cat. Is it problematic that I know the secret that cats are better than people? I dream of cats on bicycles, cats on unicycles, cats in the government, cats on humanless merry-go-rounds, cats in postage stamps. If there were no humans, then I wouldn't get morning treats in a daily routine if I was a cat. This gives me pause. Would my afternoons consist of field mice and plenty, fleas in my coat, drinks from silty puddles, naps under colored trees, derision for dogs, and the damn rabbit temptress? If I were a cat in the open instead of me, would I be in a series of unwinnable challenges involving paws, labyrinthine woods, and gridlocked puzzles of animal sense, of other cats who may or may not even like me? No one to open me a can of tuna. No one to refill the food and water bowls. What are bowls? A cat outlaw versus the natural swagger of an indoor alpha. My coat, a mess of knots for the licking. Would I perk my ears up at the sound of talkative crows? Well, I'm not a cat yet, so I guess no one knows. Uh, this poem, uh, you know, all the Republican debates are going on and all the government stuff is going on, so I brought a government-related poem. It's called Change is Dangerous. Fighting the government with words is a losing battle. How easy it seems to utter a trail of them out to see if they do anything. They don't. The government will most likely not take you up on your words unless you have bombs behind them. Because he, and I mean he, who has the bomb has the power, and I think we dreamy-eyed, starry-headed American video gaming rebels have forgotten this. <laughs> that it is all well and good to want to change our awful bot government, that is all well and good. And it is right to want to change it, but it doesn't want to be moved. Because it's for the wealthy by the wealthy and will continue to be so. They have the bomb and don't you forget it. People that forget it die, just like in any civil war, where the people are too poor to fight with anything but words in their lives. This is where we are. We anger, they pepper spray. Until we unite and get some pepper spray to spray them with, nothing will change, but the words, the words will stay the same. <laughs> this poem's really fun to read, so I'm reading it again. Um, I was reminded of the local news this week because Jim's mom is mad that we don't watch the local news to get the weather. Do you guys remember like a week or so ago, we were having like a perfectly fine day and then all of a sudden it yes. seemed like there was like this tornado outside or something like, yes, it was Tuesday last week. It was like insane, like I don't even know, you know, storms like this come and it's just like, it was just mind boggling to me, like Jim and I were like looking out the window like kind of frightened, like Wizard of Oz material. And um, yeah, and, and we, so we had no idea the storm was coming and Jim goes over to his mom's house and she's like, well, don't you watch the news? What's wrong with you? You should just watch the news. So this is my, uh, this is my parody of the local news. It's one of the reasons why I don't watch it. It's called Local News at 10. Our top story tonight is that of Ms. X, who was convicted of killing her infant child by starving it and then putting it in a suitcase and throwing it in the lake. And coming up next, how to carve that perfect pumpkin. Also, a look at your weather with Dick McDickness. But next, a story about a local priest that allegedly raped the shit out of 25 altar boys in a local parish. He apparently took them into confessional and raped the hell out of them. And now here's Cindy McBlue Eyes with a story about how adorable this kitten is. <laughs> and here's Pointless McPointless with your local sports stories. How about them Gannon Knights? <laughs> After that, we'll be back with a deranged story about construction gone wrong, a kidnapping, and a gruesome true story about an axe murderer. But first, here's Susie McHomemaker with a story about how to make your own apron from materials you already have at home. <laughs> Thanks for tuning into the news station that doesn't differentiate in voice from a story about rape versus a story about a kitten. <laughs> After watching us every night, you'll turn into thoughtless zombies like us. Have a great night. <laughs> Thank you.